Hi, my name is Allison. I'm with Advanced Fertility Care. I'm going to show you how to do an intramuscular injection for your progesterone and oil. To do your progesterone and oil injection, you're going to need to your progesterone vial, your syringe with a needle attached to it, and then you're also going to need your needle for your administration. These vials are multi-use, so just make sure that you do alcohol wipe the top of them every time before you actually withdraw any medication. Your vial can, your medication can look different colors, um, and always pay close attention to what your specific dose is for your progesterone oil. If you do have a 50 milligram per milliliter vial, we ask that you withdraw two milliliters. If you have 100, you're only gonna withdraw one. So this vial is at 50, so I'll demonstrate that. You're gonna uncap this. You're gonna grab your alcohol wipe. Make sure you alcohol at the top of this. Next, you're gonna grab your syringe with the needle attached. This is just to withdraw the oil. So we always say pink is pain. So don't actually administer with this, just withdraw the oil with it. So first, you wanna withdraw air into your syringe first. So just pull this back to the two ml mark, the two milliliter mark, since this is 50 milligrams per milliliter and we want you to do a dose of 100. So you're gonna withdraw, you're gonna put two milliliters of air into this, uncap your needle, You're gonna grab your vial, inject the air into it, flip it over and take out the oil. Make sure you have the right amount. Next, you're gonna take this out, cap this needle and put it in your sharps container. Attach on the administration needle. Your injection is going to be intramuscular, so it is going to be in the butt. When you find the area that you want to go, just make sure that you alcohol wipe the area. You're going to uncap your needle. You want to spread the skin out. Then you're going to go in at 90 degrees. Your needle will go fully in. Our area just runs out of room. We do ask that you do a check to just make sure that you're in the correct spot before actually administering the medication. So pull up on the plunger just a little bit. If you see any blood come through, pull up on the needle just a little. We wanna do one more check. If you see any more, you're gonna, un you're gonna take this all out, cap the needle, get a new needle and go in a different spot. Majority of the time, you're not gonna see anything and you're in a good area, so you can go ahead and administer the medication. It will go slower through this needle because it's a thinner needle than when you withdrew it with. So you're gonna do the entire dose. Once that's complete, you're gonna take out the needle Cap this and put it in your sharps container. After you administer your medication, we do ask that you don't go lay down right away. So please massage the area, walk around. You can put a heating pad on the area just to make sure that the oil fully disperses out. If the oil stays there, it can form knots, which can take a while to go away. So please just make sure that you do walk around, massage the area before you actually lay down for the end of the day.